We're doing it again. We're watching five minute crafts. But first, take a look at these thumbnails. Which one should we watch? Everything looks so interesting. Are they feeding their belly button water? Yeah, you know, I hope this is not something else I have been doing wrong my whole life. You drink through your mouth all the time. But did you know you're actually supposed to be drinking through your belly button? That is also a hole that gets thirsty. Yeah, okay, that's exactly what it is. Ew, is it gunk gonna come out? Ew! Bro, what was that? That's the little thing that started the titans. Ugh, I hate when I have the source of all living matter stuck in my belly button. Okay, for real though, people's belly buttons do be dank and stinky though. Have you tried this really cool thing called showering? And then when you get in the shower, you put soap in your belly button and you kind of like, you clean it. Voila, no more lint, no more stink. Also, you just stick your finger in your belly button, sniff it, and if it's stinky, that's your clue to go take a shower. Infinite glizzy hack. Whoa, why does Loki remind me of a thing of dynamite? <laughs> You know, when it's like many dynamites in one thing that go boom. Oh, what was the point of that? Congratulations, you cooked the tips. You got some crispy glizzy tips. And like, what about the rest of the dog? It's got a nice little ombre on it. Okay, what else you got, Five Minute Crafts? Dip some bananas into chocolate and then just blend them up. Put them on a baking sheet and then it makes banana cookies. That easy? Just two ingredients? There has to be another ingredient. Because if I take a chocolate covered banana and then put it into the oven, it's just gonna be melted banana chocolate. It's not going to make a cookie. You could do it with three ingredients. That's the bare minimum. You do it with chocolate, banana, and peanut butter. I feel like I'm going to need to test these out. I am so skeptical. Okay, this is terrifying. What is this? A foot? Whose foot is that? That is horrific. Okay, they made a wax mold out of a foot. And then wait. Just take some gypsum that you have laying around the house. You know your random kitchen drawer that you just put everything in? Just open it up and just grab yourself a container of gypsum and make a foot mold out of it, you idiot. And then just take your torch. Is this even a torch or is this like a power washer? I don't know, they somehow removed all the wax and then put it in a silicone mold. Oh, okay, now I see what they're doing. Why are you filing the toes? They filed too much. Now there's no more toes. You know, that's like the best part of the foot. I don't know, I get a lot of weird DMs and they're just like, show your soles. Like there's two favorite parts of a foot. If you ask an average foot connoisseur, it's gonna be either the soles or the toes that are gonna be the best part of the foot. And five minute crafts just got rid of the toes for some reason, I don't know why. You know, we have to make this flower pot a little more ambiguous. You can't just have the dogs out. They'll freak some people out. Don't tell me that's glue. You know, the glue sticks that you put in a glue gun, don't put them in a waffle maker. You're going to ruin it. Like, what was the point of this? Is it just gonna come out clean? Oh, I'm going to be very satisfied if this comes out clean. Oh, oh, it made a plastic waffle. Glue waffle, glawful. And then put your shoe on the glawful and cut around it. You know, I thought this was five minute crafts, not a five day project. Ugh, I don't like this part. They're sewing the glawful onto the, the silicone foot. Why would you do that? You know, we're gonna take some concealer with a beauty blender. Oh wait, the toes are back. We're gonna make it beautiful. You know, pop some nails onto that. You know, I always wondered how feet were made. What the actual frick? You could wear it too. All I wanna know is why. This is it home decor? You know, you can't just go to the home goods, get a booty shaped flower pot, perhaps a tooth shaped flower pot. No, we're gonna make a realistic foot, put some flowers in it. You know, put it in the middle of the dining table like a little centerpiece. Nothing more appetizing than having this in front of you while you eat your blended chocolate covered bananas. I wanna know how they are coming up with these things. How do you have so many ideas? It's like, they don't have to be good ideas. They just have to be ideas. I'm convinced Five Minute Crafts has a secret lab somewhere in like the Czech Republic or Russia. They pay all these test subjects, like people, here take this pill. And then they go to sleep at night and then they have like absurd nightmares of somebody making a silicone foot, sticking on toenails and then getting a full face beat with a Fenty concealer. And then they wake up like drenched in sweat and explain their dream. And then they're like, oh, okay, okay, good, write it down. These are nightmare hacks. Did bro take a caca covered toilet out of the dumpster? It's okay, it's probably just spaghetti stains anyway. Okay, we're not using it as a toilet, we're putting charcoal in it? No! He making a barbecue out of an old toilet you found in the dumpster. <laughs> I'm sorry, no amount of disinfectant would make me eat food off of a barbecue toilet. Absolutely not. Don't forget to use the tank as like a cooler. That's like a two in one. Cold drinks for the boys and then just grill the glizzies on a toilet hole. Fantastic. I knew it was gonna be glizzies. Why wouldn't it be? They're like 100% serious. I'm starting to like five minute crafts. Why are you making chocolate covered straws? 
Congratulations, it's a crayon cake. Oh, but you can eat it. Oh, it's like one of those frosting ones where you put the cup full of frosting and then boom, it explodes. It doesn't even look that cool. What do you mean a quick meal? A peanut butter jelly sandwich is a quick meal. A hot pocket in the microwave is a quick meal. I gotta get one of these Pillsbury cylinders, put a slice out of a flaky biscuit layer, roll it out with a rolling pin, put it in my skillet, and then what, what, what else did they do? Took some ground beef, put it into the piping bag, and then crack four eggs and separate the yolks from the whites, and then put another layer of flaky biscuit dough. Is it even gonna cook? I feel like it's still gonna be like medium well. What even is this? It's it's like a burger with an egg, but in a, like a pastry. And I'm not complaining about pastries because I love pastries. I feel like this is not a quick meal. Quick clickbait. Somebody saw this in a night terror. A toilet with a full mouth of teeth. I'm not gonna lie, I thought this was like AI generated. Gums and teeth on a toilet seat. We're going to generate this. Ah! What is this? This is horrifying. Eww! It kind of looks like that dude from Chainsaw Man. I said gums and teeth on a toilet seat. I'm scared. Let's watch it. How are they gonna do this? You're gonna cut the toilet paper roll. Why would you do that? Take some silicone, you know, because everybody has a whole lab with gallons of silicone just laying around. Would you make a little cup holder? Okay, we're going to put some soap in there, a soap base. Is this gonna make a tooth? Are they actually gonna make, oh, they did, wow. Okay, that's pretty interesting. They used the bottom of the bottle to give it that like tooth shape. I don't know what you gotta be on to look at the bottom of a plastic bottle and be like, that looks like a tooth. Yeah, let's make a mold. And then they have like all these teeth molds and they're like, what do we do with these? You know what? Like the hole on a toilet kind of looks like a mouth and like it opens and closes, right? Like like a mouth. So like, what if we put the teeth around the, the toilet's mouth? I would like to know how these people think and I think that's how they think. It's so creative in the most like gross way. Okay. Let's see it. You have the soap teeth on the toilet. What now? What's the next move? You're going to dismantle another toilet paper roll. Put some Play-Doh on it. What is this part? I don't got anything in my mouth that look like that. Oh, they're dipping it into soap. Oh, okay. Is it another teeth? Or are we making the molars? This is most definitely not a five minute craft. Oh, it's the bottom teeth. You know, we have to make them look a little different. A ligament? What, what, what the heck is even that? I don't know, but I don't think I have it. Imagine a child watching this and somehow they have all of these things in their house and they make this and the parent comes home and then just like, Billy, the toilet has teeth. What have you done? We leave you alone for four days and come home to this. I mean, you should not leave your child alone for four days, especially with the five minute crafts and a house that has 20 gallons of liquid soap and a lignant, whatever that is. Okay, just peel some layers of the gum. Now you need like 10 more pounds of air dry clay to put on the seat. Oh, are we making even more teeth? I'm surprised they're actually going through with this. They're actually making the teeth. But anyways, they're taking more liquid soap and soap. It's low-key kind of a masterpiece. I feel like they would put this in like Art Basel and sell it for like $20,000. Oh, don't forget to put some light in it. If your child won't pee in a regular seat, they will definitely pee in the teeth toilet. Oh, and now you can wash your hands directly in the toilet with the teeth. Fantastic. I'm low-key kind of impressed. I like it. I think it's cool. How about a hairbrush hack? Looks normal. You know, if only there was something that could make getting the hair out of a hairbrush easier. You just put it in water. Congratulations, now you have a wet hairbrush. Like, why are there so many hacks for this? I have tried several and I keep seeing more. It's like, is it such a hassle to take the hair out of the hairbrush and pull it off? Is, it, is that so difficult that there has to be 73 different hacks to get rid of the hair on a hairbrush? I have very little faith in humanity. Take a balloon, cut it, and then put it over the faucet. Ah, and then you can put a hose through it. Okay, well, this might actually be like a legitimate hack. Wow! We got one! An actual five minute hack. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know which one was the worst one. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click! Click! And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.